A number of people have asked if I could do a video about how I've lost so much weight. I've lost 105 pounds, and uh, they wanted to know how I did it. Biggest ones, okay, portion size. That's a big one, man. You gotta think about, like you know the size that you see of, of TV dinners, typical TV dinners, what most of them are sized like? You've got the huge, oh my hearty boy, uh, whatever, the meaty, Hardy man, I can't remember the name of the thing that what they call it. Yeah, they got those huge ones that are ridiculous. But the the portion size of most of the TV dinners is more of a portion size that you should be going for. Is is much closer to the portion size you should be going for. You can go for a little bigger if you're having a lot of healthy vegetables. Like if you've steamed some vegetables or you've broiled some vegetables, um, you know something like that. Yeah, you you can you can you know, have a whole bunch of that and not ha not worry too much. Okay, the other thing is cutting back on carbs and cutting severely cutting back on sugars. I have not been th that sugary of a person anyway. I, I, I never had that much of a sweet tooth, but um, when I do want something that's sugary, like when I, I'll have yogurt and raspberries and I'll, uh, I'll use stevia, but uh, occasionally, though, I'll, I'll allow myself to have a, a little dessert. A little dessert. Not a huge one. Just a little dessert. You got to treat yourself once in a while. Now, if, if you're a snacker, okay, you got to find some other way to get... You, you got to find something else to snack on than carbs. Because that's going to get you... The, that, that kind of snacking is what's going to get you the most. You know, those, those little uh, uh, Ritz stacks... Little, little bitty stacks. I'm not sure how even how many are in there. What, 15 crackers or something? I don't know. Um, yeah, just one of those is 200, about 280 calories, I think it is. Yeah, just one of those little stacks is like 280 calories. Um, yeah, that'll get you quick. Get you real quick. I mean, if you eat, if you ate a whole one of the, the long ones of, the, of those, what would that be? Is, is that like three of the stacks? <laughs> You know, you you want to try to see if you can keep your calorie count. And this is a guideline. You want to try to keep it between 800 and 1200 calories. It's a kind of a good a good guideline. Yeah, and you can't you can't force yourself to stick to some absolute strict standard. You know, guidelines. Give yourself guidelines because you've got to allow yourself wiggle room in your diet, or you're gonna just hate it. And just because you're on on you're not eating certain a lot of carbs doesn't mean you have to eat crappy foods. It doesn't mean you have to completely cut oily foods out of your diet either. You know, the problem is when you when you combine the oils and a bunch of carbs. That's that's the, the bad combination right there. I'm not saying, you know, eat a shit ton of oily foods. I don't think that's good either. But Dude, don't be afraid of, of making some meals that are really, you know, tasty and nutritious. If you're someone who just can't cook, you're just not someone, then, you know, when you go to the frozen food sections, you know, see if you can, if you try to make sure that uh, whichever one that you get and you just have one, okay, try to see if you can get it to be under 400 calories, you know, 400 or under. And... Also, look at how much of the calories are in carbs. Okay, that's a big important one. You know, you can't just so, oh, I'm going to have a mac and cheese, and that'll cover it for one of those. No, you got you got to have something a little more nutritious than that. Now, if you want a mac and cheese as a meal once in a while, you know, as a treat, fine. But you got to read the nutritional content on the labels. And if you get stuck, you're looking at this label and you're trying to figure, what the fuck is this ingredient? That's what your smartphone is for. And don't be afraid of a food just because you saw some ingredient that has a long name. Because if you break apart, you could break apart a strawberry into its basic components and there'd be all these long names. So um, use your phone. Use your phone to figure out, you know, what, what, if you, you know, uh, what an ingredient is. Um, morning rituals that people seem to have that I, I think are kind of weird, but people have these morning rituals of all this fucking caffeine 
and sugary foods. Let's have sugar and carbs and caffeine in the morning. So you're, you're, you have all this energy and then by the time you get to lunch, you're ready to crash. Yeah, that's, that's just great. Yeah, that's, that's a terrible thing to do to your body. It's terrible. Um, <laughs> carbs, I put carbs right at the beginning. Man, but it would probably be best if you found some other way than caffeine to get you going. I mean, it's hard to get off caffeine. Caffeine is a drug. It's, it's addictive. It's difficult to get off. But if you can, you're probably better off for it. Um, especially since it's, it, it, it's usually combined with a bunch of sweets and carbs. It's just, it's, it's not good. It, it, you, only get, you only get energy for a limited period of time and then you crash. And you crash hard. Sugar and carbs do some weird things. Some the biggest things that you're going to have to deal with is not feeling completely full all the time. You may be used to feeling very full after every meal. And you're not going to feel that. And you're going to have to get used to that. You're going to have to get used to the idea of eating just enough to uh, to give you the, the nutrition you need and not any more than that. Now, some people think that uh, when you're, if, if you go on any sort of diet, you need to go on all these supplements and stuff. I'm not the person to recommend you supplements. That's not the way that I did it. I think I'm doing all right. When I go to the, the doctor, all of my, my vitals are great. I mean, they've been great, 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 great. I'm not going to say that I'm not missing some nutrients. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm missing something. You know, maybe I should work on that. But um, this is what's worked for me. Um, now my weight loss has, has slowed incredibly, uh, especially since I've gotten here, but I think that kind of happens as you get closer to your goal weight anyway. So anyway, I will leave links to a couple videos where I was making some, some meals and maybe you can get something out of that. But, uh, anyway.